West Virginia 38, Iowa State 31. And Neil Brown, baby. Whoo, we I saw your uh, your text in the chat yesterday while I was out. Uh, Nobody talked to me tonight. last night at all. The whole uh, day, not a soul it was, responded the entire <laughs> damn day. I was just only the lonely. How how surprising was that? I've normally that group chat on Saturdays is is I was a little weird. A little yeah. weird. Brock Purdy. You know, it had been Brocktober, and in this game against West Virginia's defense, 16 out of 27 passing, 185 yards, one touchdown. Uh, Brees Hall, whew, 24 carries, 167, one touchdown. Uh, Brock Purdy had nine carries for 64 yards and one touchdown. But overall, like, West Virginia outgained them. 492 Brown, to 424. Neil Brown is a really good coach. He, he really is. West Virginia, here's the storyline of the game. Third downs. West Virginia won 60% to 17%. They won drive points 35 to 21. Iowa State won yards per play 7.0 to 6.5. They won rushing 239 to 122 and timeouts, uh, timeouts, excuse me, turnovers 2 to 1. They did have a fourth down failure though, so that's kind of even. But they went 2 out of 12 on third downs, and that, that's killer. The end of this ball game, the so there were multiple calls in this. A lot of Iowa State fans saying that three of those touchdowns for West Virginia came basically because of the referees. I don't necessarily buy that. I do think, or, or at least a, a, a 21-point swing as far as what yeah. goes. The Iowa State is driving, and and they run the ball to get into the end zone, and Brees Hall, they say that he fumbled into the end zone, and West Virginia recovered. You can't get a good angle on that, on that play. And I, I watched it over and over and over, and because they called it a fumble on the field, it had to stay a fumble, and that drives me insane. But I don't know how to fix that, right? We like, we have we have the technology. We need to replace. We I'm just done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done with people screwing this stuff up. We have the technology to chip the ball. I, I know people make fun of me. Watch tennis, okay? They they can tell you where everything is, and they can do it in seconds seconds all right so and then we replace these humans that suck at what they do with just a metric shit ton of cameras all right we have to have more cameras we have to have better cameras we need a camera looking straight down over the goal line and we need cameras that go straight across looking in at the goal line on both sides at all times this is not that hard this This is not that hard this was uh that that play would have driven me insane if I were an Iowa State fan. Absolutely. But but that is not a play that cost you the ball game. What cost no. you the ball game is giving up 38 points to a West Virginia offense that has not been able to do anything all year. That can't that that can't score. Like, they can't I, score. This, your your defense was a complete and utter collapse. Yes, Iowa State's defense is supposed to be good. That's what they have built the team on and to give up 38 to West Virginia. Jared Dagey, who uh, by all metrics that you can find everything that you can come up with is not a good quarterback went 30 out of 46 for 370 yards and three touchdowns letty brown until the tcu game last week he had failed to reach 100 yards in three straight games last year was a coming out season for him and he had fallen to the back of the pack and in this game ran 22 times for 109 yards two touchdowns you had 200 yard receivers for west virginia like i i don't i don't even know where to begin with this? Uh, West Virginia ran more plays. Like this was, if you're if you're Matt Campbell, like it, this is kind of what we saw coming. You've got three losses now before you even play Texas or Oklahoma State. It's the law supposed to, or not Oklahoma State? Excuse me, Oklahoma, <laughs> Oklahoma. So uh, Iowa State. Like, sorry, sorry, my friends, but good gracious, you know this is this is one of those things that will make Matt Campbell really think about leaving town. I, I believe so because I, I think this is the best team talent wise and and experience wise that he's had there, and this is this is about what we can expect from him. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B Giannini at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.